Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So guys, a quick update on the Locator Labs. First of all, that uh, new look and feel of the uh, our website is enabled. And I'm sure you will be loving this website. A lot of information that we have added over here. And the major update is that now the Locator Labs is available. Obviously, it was first available with the Chrome extension. If your company says, okay, no, Chrome extension is uh, not allowed. You cannot download the Chrome extension because of some privacy policy or anything like that. That in that case, you can download the desktop app also. The desktop app is available with the uh, .dmg file on apple.exe and the app image for the Linux also. If still desktop app is not allowed to download, then you can go with the npm package also. You just need to open your command prompt and then run this command npm locator labs and that's it. Make sure that node, uh, node is available in your system. Node 16 plus is available on your system and that's it. This is like easiest way to download the locator labs no other configuration no header of chrome extension nothing just download this command i mean now uh, run this particular command open your terminal or your command prompt and that's it plus we have added some more extra features also that i'm going to tell you today that one deadly feature that i have uh, uh, added this time and then i'm sure you will be loving it it will save your productivity like anything so let me install the locator labs in front of you guys. So what we just need to do, we need to go to the terminal. So let me just simple see this is my terminal or command prompt. I just need to execute this command npx locator labs. And uh, that's it. Starting a locator labs and it's absolutely open. And then you don't need to configure anything. No environment variable, nothing here like that. Okay. And then what we have added this time, let me just increase the window size here. This time what we have added, we have added one amazing feature for the page object model for three different tools. In fact, five different tools we have added this time. So for example, earlier what we used to do, if I'm, let's say, going to inspect the specific element, let's say I'm going to inspect this particular home button or home link, the locators are coming. You can just simply inspect the, you know, locator also from here, the, inspect the element also from here. Plus I told you in the previous videos also, if you have seen that, or if you have used the locator labs, click on this plus icon and then the page object the locator will be added over here after that you can just simple download the file and generate the page object the problem is that it is a kind of manual work you have to do manual work means let's see for example i'm going to start inspecting feature also then again i have to click on this plus icon then again i have to let's see this header also then again i have to click on this so i have to keep adding the locators in the cart you can say this is a page object cart and then after that, I have to copy to clipboard and then the locators page object model will be generated. But you don't need to worry about all those things. So let me clear the cart. This time what we need to do, let's go to some a better page. For example, let's see a registration page. On this registration page, let's see, I really want to. I really want to inspect the elements without inspecting the elements directly. I really want to keep adding the locators in the page object because I control this page. I really want to design the framework. I really want to design the page object class for this particular page. So I know that, okay, which element I have to add in my page object. For example, let's see this header, all these text fields, radio buttons, you know, check boxes, continue button, or maybe these are the links or maybe some uh, footer links. If I really want to add, I can do it here, but according to what basis? So there is one settings that we have given. You see that, okay, this is a PO button and next to the PO button, there is one settings that I have added here. This is called PO mode or page object model or page object mode settings here. You can define your settings for the playwright locator preferences, selenium locator preferences and the Cypress locator preferences according to the ranking. But some people say, no, Naveen, I don't want any ranking and all those things. I don't understand what is get by role, get by label and all those things. I just want ID, CSS and the X path. So you can remove these checkboxes from here. You can define which type of locator you really want to generate. You want only ID or only CSS or only X path for the specific tool. You can define it here. Same thing for Selenium also. Same thing for the Cypress also as well. Or you say, okay, no, I want to generate everything, but my preference is say, uh, different. My preference says, okay, no, first get by role. Then after that, you have to prefer CSS selector. So you can pick the CSS selector also, but you say, okay, no ID should be on top. Then you can just pick the ID as well. If you really want to do that, or let's see, get by placeholder. So you can change the sequence also drag and drop. You can do it over here like this. Same thing for Selenium, same thing for Cypress as well. Right. Again, back to reset, uh, reset to defaults. Again, back to reset to defaults. Reset to default means 
this is what we prefer this is what the tools suggest that okay first semantic based roles all get by role get by label and then if you have id use id and then after that css and the xpath should be the last preference for you because xpath could be fragile as well so on the basis of the ranking we have given these number of preferences here but you can change the preference according to your requirement according to your understanding okay so let's see i just simple save this particular setting and now the killer feature of locator lab is that click on this po button from here see i'm clicking on it and now this po mode is activated click on the elements to add or press escape to exit now see this can you see this green uh, inspection is coming here you can inspect to each and every element and then what we need to do we just need to keep clicking on the elements here and that's it so for example i really want to add this header it will be added in the cart you see that cart number 1 then first name is giving me a message also at the bottom you see that okay over here the message is also coming let's see last name add it to the page object email telephone i keep adding it because i know that on this particular page which element i really need to add in the page object i'm not going to add all the 100 or 1000 elements available on this page because those elements are not at all right now useful for me for the testing point of view same thing let's see for the subscribe yes or no also i'm going to add it uh, let's see this is a privacy policy link and then after that check box and then after that click on continue also and then i really want to add let's see for the login let's see for register let's see forgot password my account address book also let's see we have added here let's see i really want to add the page locator for this image also right so you just need to keep clicking on the element in the po mode and that's it after that press escape po mode is again deactivated and then you see that okay here when you click on it in the cart this is a cart for the generate page object and then all the locators got added over here this feature you will not get anywhere guys this is a very very unique feature available only in locator labs we just need to give the page name so let's see the page name is registration page and then in which framework or language that you really want to pick so let's see i say play right with the typescript and then copy to clipboard when i copy to clipboard or you can download the uh, ts file also the typescript file also and let's see what kind of page object it got okay it is generating and then paste it over here right see this all the locators this is how we create the page object classic example of encapsulation registration page all the locators variables are available with the read only and then here all these different types of locators that we have initialized and you see that okay, the kind of locators that we have defined with the get by role get by role if the get by role is not available there is picking the css selector so whatever the ranking that we have given on the basis of that it is giving me here the xpath was the least priority for me so it's not picking the xpath here like this and this is not a garbage locator this is not like absolute xpath or you know some lengthy a locator it is generating the first preference is always the best one the best one is the get by role okay get by text then css and all those things it's using it over here for each and every element and then after that automatically it is generating the page methods also like page actions also for each and every element and then done now let's see same thing i really want to do for uh, selenium also then how exactly selenium i really want to export so let's see selenium with java and then again copy to clipboard and then let's see in the sublime let's go to the new tab and then i'm going to paste it here so in selenium what happens in selenium see in selenium there is no role of id i mean sorry get by role and all those things so it will pick all the ids can you see id id wherever the id is available first preference for newsletter name is not available then it's picking the name then css and then xpath also let's see for the continue button there is no id there is no name then in that case it's picking the xpath also is giving me multiple options which xpath do you really want to use so you can modify it later on i really want to use button with contains or input type equal to button to attributes also if you really want to use or type equal to submit and value equal to continue which xpath that you want you can pick it over here according to your requirement right and for the links is picking that okay xpath with the a and all those things is using it here like that right same thing for the cypress also if you want you can do it here now let's see for example if i go to this particular cart you can clear the cart so again back to zero okay then i'll do one thing i go to the preferences i want only and only xpath because some company says or some okay someone says okay no i just want to use xpath i don't understand any other things although it's a wrong practice but still let's you really want to use only xpath 
you can remove all these things from here it will start generating only x path for the playwright see this save settings again let's try to start inspecting the elements one by one and keep adding in the cart so let me add all these four or five locators in the cart now password and let's see confirm password again press to come out of this particular PO mode and then check your uh, cart here you see that only x path is coming here okay which language we picked playwright so let's see this with the playwright x path is coming copy to clipboard and then come back over here and then let's see is it really giving me see this all the x paths are coming here now can you see so it's up to me which preference that i really want to use i can pick it from there and then after that it is actually showing me only x path the respective locator it's showing me here it's generating over here so this is like a very good feature available in the locator labs it is like making your life very easy it's you have full control that which element that i really want to pick on the basis of my requirement it is not like there are tools available in the market they will generate the page object for the entire page but in this entire page there are see so many menu items are also available these top menu items also available right these footer links also available here so i don't want to generate the page object for the footer links for the top menu or for these menu links or top panel links i want to generate only for the registration form so you pick the registration form element and then keep inspecting it keep adding it over here and that's it it will automatically generate right so if you are already aware about the locator strategy and everything you just define your locator strategy improve your productivity because in the ai thing the improvement of the productivity is very very important i don't want to spend time or waste my time on unnecessary writing the same code again and again or same thing driver dot find element by dot xpath you know inspecting the element in the chrome dev tools and getting the xpath copy from there and then use it fine initially in the beginning days we can do that but when once we have the good understanding of the xpath css and the locators then i just want okay quick tool which is actually giving me the locators or page object immediately and then i'm gonna start I'll start using it so that I focus on my use cases, on my logic, on my uh, functional test cases, or my assertions and all those things. On the strategy of the test cases, I have to you okay. I have to spend time on those things instead of you know spending time on the locators only. This is how like majority of the people they you know spend time on the locators and then they focus on the logical part, building the you know functional logic and everything here. But here we are solving your problem within a second. You just need to keep inspecting it. Within a second, you can generate your page object, and then after that, start using it. Okay, so this is a very very nice feature available, guys. Start using it. PO mode is activated, and then any inspection you really want to do, you can do it here on any application. Okay, so that's all for this particular video. I hope you like it. If you like this feature, please uh, okay download Locator Labs. If you have any questions, you can put in the comment section, and please recommend Locator Labs to other team members also your friends also your colleagues also on social media also if you can write a post about it it will help me and my team us a lot that okay yeah some kind of motivation for us to you know uh, make it better and better in future as well with the future releases for the locator labs so thank you so much i'll see you in the next video till then take care and god bless you guys